hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is esther and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be taking down my five months old mini twist i have had this mini twist in since december so i'm taking them down today today is may 25th let me show you guys the hair and see this is how it is looking this is a five months old twist you're looking kind of crusty yeah matter as you can see but this scalp is not too dirty because i wash it last weekend so so yeah this is how they are looking so this is the back <laughs> I'm gonna start from the back and then work my way to the top. Let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna put my hair up in this black scrunchie. I'll start by applying some water on my hair, working in section, and then apply some conditioner and a little bit of oil. I decided to work in session for this protective style takedown because the last time I took a protective hairstyle down, which was the four months mini braids takedown that I did last year, 2023, the product ended up drying on my hair when I applied it before I could even reach halfway to getting my hair done. So that's the reason why I chose to work in session this time around. I'm already tired already. <laughs> I haven't even gotten that far. <laughs> this take down process is gonna take me a long time. Wish me luck. <laughs> Again, as you guys can see, I'm using my fingers to remove the shear hair that has accumulated over the past few months. I rarely use any combs and brushes when I'm detangling my hair, when I'm removing my protective hairstyles, and also when I'm moisturizing or in doing any detangling process, I rarely use any combs and I don't even use brushes. I feel like if I use brushes or combs, it will kind of handle my length retention. If I use brushes or comb, they might end up damaging my hair since brushes and comb cannot feel through my hair like my hands, like my fingers can. Using my fingers is more beneficial because I'm able to feel the knots and the tingles in my hair before removing them. Otherwise, if I use brushes and combs, it might just you know end up ripping out my hair so using my fingers is more beneficial in that regard so because i want to retain the length that i've grown over the past few months <laughs>
one thing i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is that although my hair was in a protective style for five months i didn't just neglect my hair for those five months i took care of it like i usually do i wash my hair once every two weeks i massage my scalp using my rosemary mint meals organic scalp and hair strengthening oil after washing and then i apply my diy ayurveda deep condition in a deep condition with heat for 15 minutes this is how i've been taking care of my hair and this is how i continue to do so even with the five months mini twist challenge I'm going to slow down the video here to show you guys how I remove this stubble tangle without causing my hair breakage. I will slow down and then isolate the hair piece that have the tangle in it and then slowly work through it to remove the tangle. I've already taken down almost half of the hair. As you can see, I put them in this chunky twist. One of the other things that I did during these five months is that I retwisted my mini twist two times after the first month and after the third month. I originally planned on retwisting my mini twist at the end of every month, but I changed my mind after the first retwist because I didn't have a lot of share hair, so I decided to push the retwisting to every two months. How do you guys take your protective hairstyles down? Do you guys use any tools such as combs and brushes? Or do you guys use your fingers like me? And also do you guys use moisturizing products to help you with your protective hairstyle take down? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
when you're doing your protective hairstyle how long do you typically leave your protective hairstyle in This is the amount that I have left. Hopefully, I can get it done soon and then go wash my hair. So, <sighs> take down process is very exhausting. A little link check. <laughs> taking a twist down so you guys can see my hair looks much longer than it was before um last year 2023 so this is 2024 hair growth i've already reached waist length let me stand so you guys can see waist length If you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you guys so much once again for watching see you in the next one bye